Astaxanthin, an antioxidant that is 6,000 times more powerful than vitamin C and 500 times more powerful than vitamin E, is found in salmon, crab, shrimp, lobsters, and algae. It is the pigment that gives these foods their deep pink color. For example, farmed salmon is actually gray in color and it is only when astaxanthin is added to its feed that it turns pink to resemble the color of natural wild salmon. For more on salmon, watch this video, which I will link in the description box below. In terms of supplementing with astaxanthin, make sure it comes from natural sources such as microalgae as opposed to synthetic astaxanthin. The problem with synthetic astaxanthin is that it could have been extracted using a neurotoxin that is used in gas refining called hexane. Now, what is a safe dosage for natural astaxanthin supplementation? 8 to 12 milligrams per day has been shown safe in long-term supplementation studies. In comparison, there is 3.6 milligram of astaxanthin in 165 grams or 5.8 ounces of wild-caught salmon. So why would one consider supplementing with astaxanthin? Astaxanthin supplements are generally taken for improving eye and skin health, exercise performance and recovery, and hair loss treatment. Let's address exercise recovery first. Animal models of astaxanthin supplementation has shown promising effects on exercise recovery. Unfortunately, in human studies, supplementing with 4 mg per day of astaxanthin has yielded disappointing results. I will link a review article on the topic in the description box below. However, in the future, better quality studies that use a higher dosage could show beneficial effects of astaxanthin supplementation with regards to speeding up recovery. And since it's been shown to be a safe supplement up to 12 milligrams per day, it might be worth a shot to look into supplementation and see how that impacts your recovery. Now, what about hair loss? There is definitely exciting research that supports the use of astaxanthin in addressing hair loss. That's because one of the main drivers of hair loss is having testosterone convert into another hormone called DHT. Astaxanthin can block this conversion of testosterone into DHT. Lower levels of DHT mean less likelihood of hair loss and even less likelihood of prostate enlargement. I will link a relevant study in the description box below. While it's important to focus on whole food astaxanthin sources, if you would like to supplement, make sure you're getting the natural form as opposed to the synthetic form. I will link some high quality brands that I would recommend in the description box below. That's it for this topic. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you the very next time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.